What the heck? Is that a helicopter? That's our way out of here. Chris? Is it you? Chris Redfield? Chris? Alright. Let's go. I don't have anything. All I have is this. What am I supposed to do with that? Swallow it? Oh. Bunch of dead fish. That's nice. Handgun. Oh, enhanced gam handgun ammo. There was a collapse in the Patterson mine. Tune in back for it or dead. Helps him never fuck on his own again. Old man Sam was right. The ground there is too unstable. The company's not going to send us any replacements. They want us to work double shifts instead. I can't wait to get back to the old country. Assault mined? We're going into a mine now? What's this? I can't even see the damn picture. Are they watching us from that helicopter? Oh, it's a picture of the helicopter. What's this? Alpha One, this is Bravo One. Do you read? This is Alpha One. Report. Did you find anything? A thorough search of the Baker property revealed zero survivors. Repeat, zero survivors. We did find evidence of a skirmish. Evelyn? Negative. However, we did find several encrypted messages from the Baker's son, Lucas, to an unknown third party. You can probably guess who that was. That's just great. We've had reports using the abandoned mine south of the property. I'm gonna go have a look. Roger that. We'll meet you at those coordinates. If you encounter Evelyn, orders are shoot to kill. Repeat, shoot to kill. Uh, I don't blame them. I would probably do the same thing. Oh, what's over here? Did I forget something? Well, that, yeah, I know that's there. I don't have a knife to destroy it. You've taken me as things. Oh, we should have left the machine gun. I didn't. Oh, it's in here. Oh, 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 never mind. We're good. We're good, guys. We're good. We are good because she gave us her stuff. So we are all set, guys. I actually like her pistol more than. Oh, wait, this is the G17. That's the one that I was using. Okay. Her survival knife is way better than my knife. All right. Thank you, Mia. You've proved to be. I've got mad handgun ammo. Jesus. I think I'm gonna take her handgun over mine. I just like it better than this G17. I got like seven shots in it. I don't know. It is kind of a small pistol, but like, I mean, let's compare it. Hold on. This one or this one? I don't know. My thing with this gun is like, I like it, but like. It just seems too basic. I mean, this is the pistol that Chris uses in Code Veronica. It's like a Glock, basically a Glock. And then this is the pistol that Ada uses in Resident Evil 2. But you know what? I'm gonna go with Ada's pistol. That's what I'm referring it to as. Chris's pistol, Ada's pistol. Okay, hold on. Um, Machine gun ammo. Make sure we have a stack of that. Uh, let's see here. So we have increased max health. And then we have, what's it? Oh, that one we already got. And what's this one? Um, I can't tell. The reloading speed increases in this. Okay. And then we have, oh, we can't even get it if we wanted to, because we need five of those, but I have enough to get this one. Okay. This will increase my max health. Take it. All right. Take it. Thank you. And we're going to go ahead and shoot that right into us. Pop. Okay, guys, I went ahead and organized my inventory. I have the MPM handgun, which was the handgun that Mia was using. I have Mia's machine gun. I have her remote. I basically have Mia's stuff. I took all of Mia's stuff because, honestly, she had more useful stuff than I had, honestly. I'm not, I'm not, I don't plan on using the Magnum anytime soon. Uh, the grenade launcher kind of sucks because you can only make a, a limited amount of ammo for it, which kind of sucks. And the shotgun ammo I want to save up on. So we're going to use her equipment for now because it was pretty good. So with that being said, let us push on. All right, what's over here? We got, ooh, mag ammo. Oh, it's just one bullet. All right, cool, that's fine. And then we got separating agent, or not separating agent, clem fluid. And, ooh, cool. We're getting some good stuff here, guys. All right, so that's gonna lead down here. 
I am not sure what's gonna happen next, but to be honest, guys, I'm kind of looking forward. I'm kind of looking forward to it. Like I'm actually really starting to enjoy this game now. I felt like I had a really slow start, and oh hi guys. Look at that! Don't lose a leg. Don't lose a leg, guys. Haha. -ha. Oh, there's quite a few of them out here, actually. Jeez. Um. Okay. I just need to get into that elevator. Ah, oh, damn! I don't want to kill. I really don't want to kill every enemy I see. <laughs> you can't catch me on the bread man. No. <laughs> oh god. Oh god! They're all coming after me. Oh, no, no, no. Oh god. I don't have any more bombs. Run, Ethan, run. Oh god, I don't want to kill them. Like, it's a waste of ammo. You know how many of those damn monsters I've killed? Oh my god. Oh my lord. Move. Move. Open it. Take it. Take it. Cross ah. it. Go in. Get in, Ethan. No, no. my guy. You guys have anything better to do than chase me? How the hell do I use that damn elevator? No, don't close. Come on, guys. Come get Ethan. I'm right here. Oh, hurry up, Ethan. Why won't that stay open? Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus, my inventory is full. My inventory is full. I'm gonna save up on those. Oh. Uh, hello? Where the hell are we? Anyone down here? Hello? Oh, my God. Die. Oh, oh, hello there. Hello. How low can you go? How low can you go? I'm not even gonna. <laughs> um, I was, I thought about it. I was like, nah. 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 I don't want to play Limbo right now. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Can they walk into that? What? Oh, I was gonna say. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, for love of God, just die! Jesus. I gotta be care- I gotta be careful. I really have to be careful while I step. Otherwise, it's my death. It's my death, guys. Hello? Hello? God, it's a freaking maze down here. Oh, I like my time bombs. Hello? Is there anyone down here? Uh, ooh, ooh, mag ammo. Cool, cool. Come on. Come on. Evie. I'm coming for you, Evie. Hello? What's this do? Push it. Push it, 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 push it! 
Ow! Please tell me Ethan used the regular heal. I think he did. Yeah, he did. Okay. I don't want him to use the other one. Alright, let's go. I'm not going to spend any more time here. I'm going to keep moving, guys. Oh, I knew it! I freaking knew it! This freaking game, dude. With their stupid explosions in the box. Screw you, Capcom, for that one. That is not cool whatsoever. That is not cool. Thank you, guys. It's been about a week since my head's been clear and back to normal. And she still thinks, and she still thinks she's got me. You guys really need to fight, work on fixing that. Not only does she look like a little kid, but she's about... She's about as stupid as one, too. What? Mom and dad are still totally under, under though. I was wondering if this whole family obsession thing you guys programmed into her. It's kind of f***ed up. That bitch Mia is still somewhere in between Eevee, La La Land, and reality. She gets pretty violent, so I locked her up in her, her I locked her up in a cell. I thought maybe Evelyn would get mad since, Eve, since Mia's her favorite and all, but she doesn't seem to care. She actually goes to visit her sometimes. She thinks Mia's her mommy. Like I said, your bioweapon is f***ed up. Evelyn's family obsession is getting out of hand. She's making everyone kidnap more and more off the streets to add to her freak show with family. Maybe she's getting tired of Mia not coming around, but it's a pain to me because I gotta clean up the mess whatever, whenever someone new comes along. By the way, Evie's looking sick or something. Her skin is getting all wrinkly and she's she's getting gray hair. Is that supposed to happen? It's almost as like she's getting old all of a sudden. What the hell? What were they working on down here? Like, I really want to know. Infection report. This report details the symptoms that appear when the bacterium goes inside of the E-series and infects a human. Be sure to read this document throughout thoroughly before dealing with the E-series weaponized assets. Hereafter referred to as mold. Okay, so let's see. The mold ingests its nutrients from the subject's body to replicate itself. Slowly takes over cells within the body. As a side effect of this, the infection subject gains remarkable regeneration abilities. During experiments, we moved arms and legs from the test subjects and found that they were able to cup the impotent limbs in, in a matter of minutes. Once the mold reaches the brain, the subject's thoughts become in tune with those of the E-series asset. The subject starts to hear things and experiences hallucinations and soon comes under control, com under complete control of the E-series asset. If this state continues, the host will be lost of all sense of ego. Complete infection. After every cell in the body has been taken over by the mold, the subject begins to lose their human form. Physical mutations differ from the case to case, but all results in him and her crying and in incredible physical strength. Containing a subject at this stage would be extremely difficult. Wow. So what is it, like the E-virus? Is that what it's called? Because we had the T-virus, the C-virus, the G-virus. E-series dosage state. 10 minutes after dose, death. 12 minutes after dose. Wow. Five minutes after dose, vomiting. Oh my god. What? What the heck? It opened. Oh. Destroy cells of any subject based on the E-series bioweapon. Use only for disposal of E-series assets. The toxin, the toxin must first be simplified before use. Do this by placing a sample of the E-series cells into the toxin. Wow. This. What does this do? What is this? What is Ethan's hand doing? Look at Ethan's hand. You guys see that? What's this? E ne e necrotoxin. Oh wait a minute. This is one of the serums. A special serum for disposing of the E-series test subjects. It could destroy Evelyn if injected into her. Oh, shoot. That's crazy. Guys, you guys see Ethan's hand when I do this? Oh, it's not doing it again. But Ethan's hand was going like, you guys see that? You guys see that? What the heck is he doing? Ethan, what are you doing with your hand? Oh, man. It's like his like... <laughs> okay, let me stop. Jesus. Ooh, flame rounds, cool. So we found our next safe room. Wait, there's nothing else in here, right? All right, there's nothing else in there. 
Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode off here. I think we've covered enough in this episode. Um, I plan on doing more recording sessions. I'm not done recording. I'm just, like, organizing my inventory here. But next time in Resident Evil 7, we're going to continue on exploring the undergrounds of the salt mine, I guess. It's pretty cool. This is our inventory right now. It looks pretty clean. So we have a serum. We could have used this on Mia if only she was still alive, but... I'm starting to think that everyone's dead, honestly. So, with that being said, guys, next time in Resident Evil 7, we're going to continue on, hopefully find Eevee and inject this into her and see if we're going to be saved by the one and only Chris Redfield. Because apparently, you know, I, I've heard that he's in this game, but I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. I'm pretty sure he is, but we're going to see and find out soon. So, with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and share. Smash that subscribe button for more. And remember to watch out for more uploads from Atrocity. I upload videos every Friday and Saturday morning. And with that being said, I will see you guys next time.